Shalom, shalom, and greetings from Sh uh, Teshua Community. I am Ima Raphael, and this video is only for the daughters of Tazion. And today I have with me Davida. Shalom. And today Davida wants to share with you something she's written, and then daughters, I will share with you the Torah truth. So before I begin, we'll have Davida to share with you what she has for you today. Shalom, my name is Davida, and this is a little story about Grandma. My grandma is a fun driver. When you see a red truck, some of the children run to the truck. It's my grandma and grandpa. The children find a place to sit on the train, on the truck. The children go up and down, side to side. Sometimes they go on each other. It is so much fun. She stops and get out. She smiles and laughs at us. We laugh as we are tired on the back. We, we, unload. Louder. we unload and get back in. As she drives, we scream and laugh. We love riding with our grandma. The end. Thank you, Davida. You can go sit down. Now this is a story, a little short story, that Davida wrote about riding on the back of her grandmother's truck. I'm the grandmother, I'm the driver. All right, daughters, a scripture to encourage your hearts. Daughters, whenever you're looking for a scripture to encourage you, if you listen to the messenger, just always go back over those scriptures. And sometimes there's a word that you find it more meaningful to you. Then find other scriptures to go with that. But the first scripture verse I'm going to read is coming from 1 Peter, chapter 1, verses 13 through 16. It says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, have tigva to the end of hasi that is to be brought unto you at the re revelation of Yahshua HaMashiach. And daughter, we're in an hour where we truly need to be sober. We don't need to be telling jokes. We don't need to be uh, running from house to house. We need to be sober, we need to be keepers of our home, working with your children, learning to honor and to love your husband. That's an important job. So you have to be sober-minded to do those things. We need to be obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. One time we were ignorant, I was ignorant. I didn't know how to love a husband. I didn't know how to be a keeper of my home. But as I have heard the messenger, as I have heard the messenger, I make corrections in my life that has benefited me. It says, but as he which has called you is Kodash, he's set apart. So be you, Kodash, in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, it is written in the Torah, Be ye Kodesh, for your sure Hamashiach is Kodesh. We must be set apart. We must not be like any other people. You say, well, where if I go, I don't see people that are Kodesh. Then you be Kodesh. You be set apart. You be like no other. Because we are from beyond the people of Yah that follow this Torah truth. This truth will make you free. It has made me free, daughters, and I am free indeed. I strive every day for excellence. There's nothing tough in Raphael. I have to strive every day. I have to practice every day doing that which is righteous. When you see the loud woman, then you know she has no understanding of this truth. No, I don't get upset when I see women that don't walk in this way. I just feel sorry, but they, have, they haven't heard 
the messenger. Hallelujah. I want to go to James chapter 1. Hallelujah. James chapter 1 and verse 22. And it reads, But be ye doers of this word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. We deceive ourselves. We say, oh, well, I heard the messenger. Well, if you hear the messenger, you make the corrections in your life. You don't continue to do things the way you used to. There are not many daughters that are out here living in Kodash and set apart. There are not many. There's only a few. So when you hear this truth, let it bring a change in your life as it has brought a change in my life. I practice this every day. My, the way I think, I don't think the way I used to as a 20-year-old woman. Yes, I experienced Yahshua HaMashiach as a young 20, I was 22, 22 years old. And as I saw the changes in my husband's life, my ish, I started following pursuit. I didn't want to be the way I was. I, it changed everything, the way I thought, the way I dressed, the way I would go out amongst others. I was, I used to be the life of the party where I decided it was wrong to be the life of the party. I learned how to study to be quiet. I don't have all the answers. You know, we today you see most women, they, think they just got the answer to everything. Well, I'm not an Oprah Winfrey. I don't want to be like her. I want to be like the daughters in this book. Hallelujah. And if you truly are here, you will become a, do, a doer. They work hand in hand. Not you are here and you don't do. They work hand in hand. Hallelujah. But let me read this last scripture verse. And this is for all those. This is for all the women that are striving to do what's right. This is for you today, daughters. We're going to go to Psalms, to Helium, 100, verse 3. And it reads, Knowing that Yah is the Mighty One, it is He that has made me. It is he that has made you, and not we ourselves. We are his people. We're his people. Everything that's on this earth, Yah has made it. Yah has made it. He's made the righteous for his pleasure and the wicked for the day of evil. It is Yah that has made us. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. So we're his sheep. We should eat from this Torah every day. We examine ourselves. We learn how to love. The people of Yah must learn to live together, daughters. Because we strengthen each other. When you're out there amongst wolves, they would devour you. They would destroy you. You have to become set apart. You have to just, sometimes you just have to shut yourself in. But I told a Yah that I'm in a place where I have strength. I have daughters that are, that are willing to labor with me. No, I don't sit around all day just twiddling my thumbs, daughters. I'm a worker. And I'm going to work until I die. I labor with my hands. I work with these little ones every day. I take great delight in working. I do. So I told her, y'all, let us, let us examine our own hearts. If y'all has created us, he has created us for righteousness. And we can do that which is righteous every day. So this is just a, a few scriptures to encourage your hearts of this week. Every week we will come with you with something to encourage your hearts. Like I said, we work with our children. Davida is, she's eight, you're eight years old, Davida? Yes, ma'am. Davida is eight years old. And that was her idea to write her little short story. So our children are very creative. And they don't sit, listen, our children are very active. Remember, the Hebrew daughters were lively. Our children are lively, too. So Yahweh Baruch you, told our camera woman, and we will see you next week with another word of encouragement. Shalom, shalom, and Yahweh Baruch.